We now move to the open doubles competition, the big event here at the $15,000 Battle in the Mountain here in Asheville, North Carolina. That is Chris Blowers in the forward position, Harold Stalvey at goal. On the right side and on the left, you've got Ryan Moore and Alan Reese, certainly one of the pre-event favorites. Anytime Ryan Moore is involved in an event, he's going to be one of the favorites and playing with Alan Reese. Of course, the host of this event and, and, a, and a good goalie, a guy who really plays a good goalie war game and a guy who with some experience, in fact, Alan Reese talking to him this weekend as Chris Flowers finds that hole down the middle. Make it one nothing. Alan Reese back in, oh, I think he said it's between 75 and 85 was really the best player in, in North Carolina in this area. And primarily on the Deutschmeister table back at that time, but a, but a guy who really was a dominant player. And I've heard it not only from him, but from others as well. Of course, this is somewhat of a reunion as, again, there's Blowers firing that one home. Chris coming out hot. A reunion of sorts, uh, the battle in Atlanta, which took place at the end of January earlier this year and was such a popular event. Everywhere I go, I still hear about how people watched it and really enjoyed it. And that was Chris Blowers and Ryan Moore versus Alan Reese and Todd Lafredo. And there's the John Wayne from Ryan Moore. It's 2-1. Chris Blowers, a high energy player, no question about it. Likes to try different things. Plays a, a bit of an unorthodox style, but a, but an effective one. Let's see how it Allen chooses to go with here. He's a very good pull shooter back there, but has a few other options as well, including that one, sort of a slingshot effort. Picked up here by Harold, Harold Stalvey. Stalvey with the ball. Harold telling me he's only been playing the game since uh, March of 2014 is what he just told me. And, but he loves it. He's into it. He enjoys it. He knows the game. He knows the players and the commentators. And here he is on table number one. And here he is slicing it into the goal. Harold Stalvey getting on the scoreboard and enjoying it. What a thrill for him. He may not be so thrilled after Ryan Moore shoots this one. Buddy it as he makes the block. Great 3-1 lead for Blowers and Stalvey. Harold tries to come down the middle, block back into the goal. It's 3-2. towards the goal, kept out by Reese. Allen, trying to come back with a push shot. Remember, $5,000 for first place in this event here today. $1,600 for second and $800 for third. Nice pass attempt along the outside wall. Ends up in possession of Ryan Moore on his five, and generally that means it's going to be on his three shortly thereafter, and it is. Ryan from pull shot position and faking the wing. And then stroking the long. It's 3-3. Don't know if Harold Stalvey has watched any video of Ryan Moore to have some idea of what he does off that pull shot set because it's a little different. Flowers smoothly along the wall. Ryan Moore coming off a, a double at Texas State at the Texas State Championships two weeks ago where he won singles and doubles, and Blower is able to stroke this one home. Four three lead for Blowers and Stalvey. In an opening game that you you feel they've got to win. So they've got to hold off this guy as Ryan passes it through the lane. Sets it up. Or does he? No, comes back with that rolling pull shot. It's 4-4. And Chris Flowers calls timeout.
Chris Flowers will put the ball back into play. We're tied at four here in this opening game. It's a round of 32 open doubles match. And smoothly through the lane, and Flowers can put away game number one. Chris Flowers. Trying to stroke the long, blocked by Reese. Comes back to Blowers, quick push kick by Chris. We know that's an option he likes to use. Not sure that was the best time for it, where he, he had been shooting well with the pull shot, but he went for it, and that's part of what makes him a, a, a very good player is his aggressiveness. Stalvey off that back wall. Blowers couldn't grab it. Moore with a quick rolling pull shot, and Harold makes the block and takes it away. Sends it up the table towards the goal. Kept out by Reese. Opening round of open doubles action here at the 2015. Battle in the mountain. Bowers couldn't connect on that one. And there's something on the ball. No comment. Ellen Reese tries to advance it, and it's taken away by Blowers. Let's see if Chris sets up the pull shot here. And he does. For a first game win, Chris Blowers. Blowers. I just stroke that long, and Reese is out there to make the block and take it away. Allen shot down the middle towards the goal, spins into the possession of Harold Stalvey. His quick bank off the outside wall, blocked by Moore. Harold comes back with a short side pull shot. That one spins towards the goal, swept away by Reese, but he couldn't grab the rebound. Flowers does. Chris, again, will set up his pull shot. Trying to go inside, went wide of the goal, but he's going to get another chance here. And he's going to take a look at the push kick. And then come near side, that ball dies on the goal line, and it rolls to a stop. Good play, good play, and good play. Reese yeah, cannot yeah, touch that it. Well done, man, that That's a dead good. ball. <laughs> wow. Uh, what? Couldn't touch it. Yeah, I know. So it goes there. No. Yeah. My five ball. There's no. nobody get it out. Five. It's a goalie area. It couldn't touch it. So it couldn't touch it. Oh, it couldn't touch it. Yeah. yeah. See? I gotta go to Diaz and learn how to do that. You are so lucky. I mean, I love it. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Everybody ready? Give me a break. Heads up, heads up, man. All right. Yep. Hey, Chris. Yep. Interesting last couple of minutes, that's for sure. Reese putting it back into play. Tied up at four here in game number one. Allen sends it up the table, and it's grabbed on the five by Ryan Moore. His quick lane pass, Blowers with the block and the takeaway. This is uh, this is Ryan Moore's first match of the weekend. Ryan got in early this morning after spending the night at the Chicago airport, in the airport, got in very late last night from, from Denver. I think about 2 a.m. and then just stuck around for a 6.30 a.m. flight, which ended up being, I think, 8.30. And closing out, game number one is Blowers. <laughs> Chris Blowers, Harold Stalvey win the opening game of this best three out of five. Round of 32, open doubles match. And Ryan sticking it through the lane. Shooting the pull shot once again. Ryan taking a look at the John Wayne, taking a look at the long, and fires home the John Wayne. The best John Wayne in the history of foosball. I don't think there's any debate about that. No one has ever used it quite as effectively. We know the great Cindy Head 
used to use it quite a bit off her pull shot series. But the way Ryan does it, he has several different ways that he does do it. Nice save here by Reese, who sends it up the table. But he really takes that John Wayne to a whole other level. Of course, he's got the other options as well. Ryan now looks to give his team a two-goal lead here in the second game. It is one game to nothing in favor of Blowers and Stalvey. A rolling pull shot. Harold has played very well. We mentioned the fact that he has only been playing the game a little over a year. But he had certainly held his own. There you see Harold. Got to be fun for him. And the pass, but Blowers couldn't catch it. In the high lane. Ryan went wide of the goal with that pull shot. Of course, Ryan Moore, also a practitioner of the snake shot. And that one knocked into the goal by Blowers. <laughs> Moore will get a possession here. Ryan has the great snake, he has the great pull, both of them supreme shots. Of course, he can also go into a tic-tac series where he's very effective. Stalvey, effective clearing the zone here. Blowers will shoot for the lead. Chris Blowers. Fired that one off the corner of the goal, rebound snagged by Reese. Allen sends it up the table, comes back to it. Allen tick tacking and then tried to send a push out of the middle, intercepted by Blowers. Here's Reese. That one's going to roll to a stop. Reese clears it. Moore snags it on the five, then flipped it over, spins it back, but spins it all the way back to Blowers, who then loses it. All right. He's getting a little odd down there on table one. Ryan Moore almost made a great save, but put a little too much backspin on it, and it got past him, and then um, kind of got past Blowers as well, but Chris able to take it away from Reese. And Allen able to block that pull shot. Blowers again. And off the corner, and a nice grab here by Moore. Ryan wearing the Colorado Rockies baseball cap. Of course, living in Colorado, Colorado Springs, just south of Denver. Stalvey with a block. Ryan didn't get a whole lot behind that one. It does so here, though, and it's 2-1. But Harold Stalvey has done a good job against Ryan Moore so far. Blowers tic-tacked it right to Moore. Ryan along that near wall. Watch out to the John Wayne. Now going into a tic-tac, then trying to hammer it near side, and Stalvey was there. Harold gained possession of the ball. Hammers it up the table. Blowers couldn't grab it, stabs at it. Reese able to pick it up. Allen tried to pump that pull shot down the middle, blocked. And the oh, off the fly with a slingshot. <laughs> it's 3 1. Wow. You know how difficult that shot is to do? Off the far wall. What a brilliant shot by Ryan Moore. And anybody who watched the Texas State Open Singles final a couple of weeks ago? between Ryan Moore and Tony Spradman knows that Ryan can do everything. He, he, he is an amazingly creative player when he wants to be. 3-1 lead for Ryan Moore and Alan Reese. Yeah. 
This is Harold Stalvey. Trying to make that one off the inside wall. Picked up here by Reese. Get the feeling Allen's due for a score from back there. Stalvey has this one picked off and grabbed on the three by Moore. Let's see what Ryan's going to do here. Tried to go with a slingshot, and Stalvey, to his credit, was looking for it. Ryan just trying to hammer that far corner. We'll get it back on the five, and of course, then on the three. Now looping, playing a little tic-tac, and the pull kick slammed home to the near side. It's 4-1. I think Ryan is still trying to shake off some cobwebs from his roundabout journey to get here to Asheville, and the lack of sleep that was included in that journey. And perhaps going to a tic-tac series, having some fun, maybe the way to do it. Circling, and again, the pull kick. It's one game apiece. Third game underway, tied up at a game apiece. Chris Blowers. And he's able to stroke this one home. It's 1 0. And it's now 1 1 as Ryan Moore finds the back of the goal. Chris Blowers. Takes his time and finds the hole. Nicely done by Blowers, it's 2-1. Ryan Moore will look to answer. Ryan faking. And then fakes and strokes at home. That is the shot that is the difficult one to do, where he basically is faking the John Wayne and going immediately in to the long pull shot. It is impressive to do. I think I have mentioned it before that I talked to Ryan about that. He said he took about a half an hour of just doing that. And he came out of that little short practice session with the ability to do that. And stroking it home here is Blowers. It's 3 2. Hey. 3 2 lead for Blowers and Stalvey. will look for a 4-2 lead and find it. Chris Blowers has certainly come to play here in this open doubles round of 32 match. Ryan Moore. And look for Ryan to put his head down and start playing some serious foosball now, folks. Moore. Tries the slingshot and Stalvey blocking it about as well as we have seen anyone in a while. And Harold thought he was there just a little wide. And Moore able to score it. You see Harold having a good time down there on table number one. And why not? Getting to play in front of the cameras, in front of the crowd against one of the great players in the history of the sport. Reese picks up the rebound here. It's one game apiece, and Blowers picks up the loose ball. I don't think Chris wants to call a timeout here. It's going to shoot it against Reese. Yeah. 
Reese gets a man on it. Makes the block, quick push kick, swung on and missed. And the timeout. <laughs> Alan Reese is going to stay back there to defend against Chris Flowers, who can win game number three as he puts it back into play. Chris Flowers. Try to come down the middle, blocked by Reese. Flowers able to snag the rebound. Took a look at the push kick. Will wisely, I think, set up the pull shot once again. Flowers. Tried to stroke the long, and Reese with another big block. Allen getting out there on that long hole, and Ryan Moore able to pass it along the wall. Let's see what Ryan does here. Harold Stalby has really blocked him well. There's the wind up, the fake, the long pull shot wide of the goal. Reese picks it up here, sends that one up the table and grabbed by Harold. Harold bangs it off that outside wall up the table. Reese able to pick up the rebound. Fires that one down the middle and back in. And it's two games to one in favor of Blowers and Stalby. Here's Ryan Moore as we open up game number four, switching to the snake shot and stroking it home to the far side. One-nothing lead here in the fourth game. It is two games to one in favor of Chris Blowers and Harold Stelvey. Ryan Moore to the snake shot, however. Ryan sitting, waiting, and stroking it home to the near side. is going to get another possession here. And that's really been the key throughout the match is that Chris has gotten possessions equal, I think, or pretty close to it, to Ryan Moore. But he is going to have to elevate his game even more. Uh, we know what's going to happen here, and that's that Ryan Moore is going to take his game and already has to another level. Ryan Moore, one of the, the few players in the world of table soccer that really can turn it on and off. Nice clearing effort there. Stalvey really playing smart. Oh, great grab there by Blowers. But Harold Stalvey has played a good match back there. And again, we mentioned he's only been playing a little over a year, but has, is really doing the right things. And stroking it home here is Blowers, who continues to do the right things and has fun doing it. It's 2-1. Ryan sticking it through the lane. And snaking it to the back of the goal to that far side. Chris Flowers will put it back into play. Remember, Ryan Moore and Chris Flowers played together in the battle in Atlanta. Ended up losing to Reese and Lafredo in a nine-game classic, which may be the match of the year, certainly one of them. It's in the running for match of the year. And stroking at home to the near side is Moore. You saw Stalvey go with that Lewis shuffle, that fast shuffling defense. Not a bad choice, but... Ryan found that deep corner to the near side. It's 4-1. And 
no surprise. Looks like we may be headed to a fifth game here momentarily. Great event here in North Carolina here this weekend as it's closed out. Fourth game by Ryan Moore and Alan Reese. It's two games apiece. Chris Blowers reached across the table as if to shake hands. I, I don't think he forgot which game it was, but he may have. All right, it's all come down to the fifth game here at the 2015 Battle in the Mountains. Brought to you by Ken Wilson Ford of Canton, North Carolina, the largest Ford dealership in North Carolina. And, of course, Warrior Table Soccer as well. And coming back with that quick push kick is Flowers. It's 1-0 here in the fifth. <laughs> Trying to pull the upset, Flowers and Stalvi, and it would be a major upset as they lead 1-0 here in the fifth over Ryan Moore and Alan Reese. And that one blocked by Blowers. That ball's going to come back to Reese. <laughs> Chris Blowers always enjoying himself on the table. Sometimes to a fault, perhaps. Oh, and there's Reese getting on the scoreboard as he fires home that pull shot. It's 1-1. One, one. And you have to think, to some degree, it's a little bit disarming for the opponents, especially Ryan Moore, who knows Chris Blowers quite well. They played together at the battle in Atlanta. And Ryan Moore and Alan Reese, and you saw Alan really step it up with that shot, opening up this fifth game to tie it at one. And Ryan able to pick up a loose ball here. We'll set it up. Stalvi hustling defensively, really getting down in there with that fast shuffle. Ryan making him work, and then Stalvi with the block up into the air and off the table. We are going to test Brian, uh, Harold Stalvi's <laughs> stamina a little bit here, I think. Working hard, yeah. made the block, and earned the right to put the ball back into play. Harold sends that one up the table, retrieved by Reese. Shot on goal by Allen. Into the tic-tac goes more than the snake shot. And the near corner. Against that defense, you usually want to let the guy work, as Ryan did on that previous possession, and then yep. nail a, a tight corner, which Ryan can certainly do. 2-1 lead for Moore and Reese. Ryan sitting still, and that one angled on goal. Kept out by Allen. And knocked into the goal with a five <laughs> by Blowers. Two, two here in the fifth game. It is win by two, of course, with a ceiling of eight. Ryan will look for the lead. And here goes Stalby. And stroking it home here. It's 3-2. Ryan Moore strokes at home. It's match point. Oh, great effort from Chris Blowers and Harold Stalvey. But they are down 4-2 here in the fifth to Moore and Reese. Picked up here by Blowers. And Chris now, again, can pull within one. Chris Blowers. Again, Blowers has it taken away by Alan Reese.
match point, and now there's 4-3 as Blowers, who really has played a good match. Drills home that pull shot, but Ryan Moore now with a chance to advance it and win the match. Moore, look at Lane, look at Wall, can't hold on to it, and Blowers picks it up on his five. Chris, bounce pass was taken back by Moore. It rolls to a stop, and Ryan will put it into play. <laughs> Ryan Moore again, putting it into play on his five. It has been a close match, and Plowers takes it away. Chris able to make the catch and the snag. Nicely done. And he can tie it at four here in game number five. Chris Blowers. Stokes at home and into overtime we go. And Blowers will call the second and final timeout. I know, I know. It's easy to get the world does and hang it Four, four here in the fifth and final game of this round of 32 open doubles match. Ryan Moore. That high lane gets through, and let's see if Stalvey goes back to the Lewis shuffle. No, he's going to go with something a little different, the switching defense, trying to disguise the hole, and then Ryan Moore loses it. That one hops up in the air towards the goal, and Reese keeps it out. Ryan Moore and Alan Reese are tied at four here in the fifth game, and Blowers now can give his team the lead. As he sets up the pull shot. Tried to angle that one down the middle. Chris will get another opportunity here. Potential upset in the making. And stroking it home here is Chris Blowers. It is match point. Trying to go along the wall is Moore. Match point for Blowers and Stalvey. Here's Ryan. Back to the shuffle goes Stalvey. Ryan going to make him work. Look at that near corner. Tried to come there, and there is Stalvey to make the block up into the air and off the table. Match point for Blowers and Stalvey. That one blocked back towards the goal. Harold's job here is to simply get it out of there. That one pounded up the middle and grabbed by Blowers on his five. Chris Blowers gets it through. Chris Blowers can win the match right here. One of the pre-tournament favorites, Ryan Moore and Alan Reese. And Reese makes the block and takes it away. Allen swings and misses at that pull shot. Swings and misses again and uses the goalie man. It's knocked back into the goal and we have an upset here on table number one as Chris Blowers and Harold Stalvey defeat Ryan Moore and Allen Reese to advance in the winner's bracket of open doubles.